delle decisioni irrevocabili. La dichiarazione di guerra è già stata consegnata agli ambasciatori. She didn't really understand a lot of it. They were just trying to survive and <clears throat> they said she said that um, the the war was mostly in Milan, Roma. Milan, Roma, Palermo. In Palermo, which and she and she was she she saw the war from the poverty and more than more so than. Um, the bombing and everything. She wasn't in the midst of actual war, but she was close by to where, you know, the food rations were small um, from Mussolini's power and everything like that. There, as a child, there was not any clothes to wear or shoes to wear. There was very little and minimal. There was no work. She came from a family of six children and it was a, a large struggle. My mamma mi schiena quello poco che ci davano con la tessera. Avevamo quelle due più piccoline per paura che piangevano per la fame. Noi più grande conservavamo per loro. My mom <coughs> would accommodate for the, the younger children and so we that were older would go without because we were accommodating for our younger siblings. She went to school and at the time there was a lot of fascism. In the meantime she was going to school. She had she Okay, she, she, she got to second grade and she was approaching third grade and her teacher was fascist. The teacher wanted money for divisas, okay? For the like uniform of fascism uniform. And she said to them, I don't have any money because my father's in prison and my mom doesn't have the money to pay for this fascist uniform. And she, and she said, you could sit to the side then because you're not going to learn today. My grandma pretty much pulled me out and said, if they're going to treat you this way, then you're not going to go to school. Giovanna would be tutored by a previous teacher after this event. 
e mio padre era uno, uno come... My father was a, outspoken and against... Chi era in contro? Era uno che era contro il fascismo. He was against fascism. E, e non lo potevano vedere. And nobody liked him because he was so outspoken. C'erano le spionaggi di paese. There was espionages from the town that would spy on him. They would listen behind the doors. If we would talk about politics, they would arrest him. One time they did arrest him and sent him away. Quando se l'hanno portato, che l'hanno condannato, mio papà diceva sempre che erano quattro amici. When, when they took him, um, amici, they uh, said that it was, it was four friends that he was with. Uno l'hanno attaccato a coda del cavallo e se l'hanno rotto il femore. Um, one of them was like tied by his feet and pulled and he broke some bones. Um, the other friend, they would pull their fi his fingernails. Um, another one they put on this bed where they would pull at him on each end. One of them didn't make it. His father, her father was also tied and pulled and he said he remembers waking up and being incoherent and not knowing where he was at or what was going on. My mom suffered a lot because she didn't have a husband because he was um, sent to prison and um, he and so she had to provide for the children and work as well. Quando poi sono entrata all'americane uh, in Sicilia, a uh, Sambuca, mio papà era libero allora. E ha cominciato a gridare, siamo liberi, liberi, che ormai siamo liberi. When, when the Americans came to her town, then my, my father was more outspoken because he finally realized that they were free. Ma no, eravamo contenti. Um, però se le pigliavano. No, se le pigliavano in pasero, l'Italia, yeah. e se ne erano che se le pigliaro. They were happy because they were comforted by Americans e being. E se abbiamo esso, ci avesse sempre l'America a comandare all'Italia. She said it would have been nice if Americans would have been there to kind of keep things in check. We were just happy that we were no longer living in fear, but we didn't really have a lot more supplies. We were still poor. Things were more, a little bit more organized and work was more, you know, people had more work. He was shot at by one of the like generals that were in town because he was yelling that we're free because there was the Americans had come to town.
Every Saturday she remembers her dad having to dress as a fascist. And there was like a big piazza where they would all get together. They would have to march in honor of Mussolini, she remembers that. Every Saturday. He had to go. He had to go, even though he didn't want to go, he had to go because it was like a mandatory thing every Saturday to go to this thing. He, like every, all the Saturdays he would fake like, like he was sick because he would hate to go to them because it was mandatory, but he was against it and as, you know, in his head he didn't feel like it was something that he was about. And eventually they arrested him because he wasn't um, going to these marches in, on Saturdays. She's with her father, she's anti-fascism. She's against fascism. Because the fascism has made so many things bad. Because fascism did a lot of was responsible for a lot of terrible things. Bello, no. Bello, non abbiamo niente. There was really not a lot of free time. Abbiamo c'era le nazi si usava facciamo scupe. We would make brooms. And those brooms would, the brooms that they would make would earn money to sell. She would make yarn to make clothes out of sheep. Since um, all the men were needed because they were away at war, or imprisoned, or whatever, um, the women had to step it up, and they would go. They would go into the um, country land to. In Gambania, so They would do gardening, or for for the. The locals and they would pull grass. Uh, they would pick olives, just do any kind of work for um, people that were more well off. At the time we were so young and we would um, clap our hands and sing along to the song that Mussolini had had us sing, but we didn't know any better because we were young and it was just a playful thing. Mussolini rose to power shortly after World War I and became popular largely because of the fact that he wanted a fascist republic that opposed discrimination and all forms of class war and wanted Italy to be strengthened and unified 
to rise up to the same strength as the Romans. Mussolini would lose his support when Italy became a police state where he had ultimate power. He was named the head of the government and could only be removed by the king. The economy also began to collapse as he began to try to make Italy become self-sustaining, causing further anger from the crowds. Yeah, we feel like that we were betrayed by him um, because my my father's brother had gone to the military and like the day he left and he arrived, they never heard from him again. And Ogni casa c'era uno morto. Ogni casa. Every, every house had average of a, one person that had passed or died from the whole Mussolini era. Combattenti di terra, di mare e dell'aria. Camice nere della rivoluzione e delle legioni. Uomini e donne d'Italia, dell'impero e del regno d'Albania. Ascoltate. Dio è puro quanto innocente per dare la vita. Un fratello di mio papà a 17 anni è partito per militare. Chiamavo che è arrivato un militare, mi hanno vestito per sagliere e finivo, non abbiamo più notizie. Ma io, Don Mussolini, fece tante case colonie, fece tante cose buone da allora. E che poi... Che tipo di co cose difficili? Poi c'è cose buone da allora, poi si stava con le guerre, le guerre le per Dio e... At, at first he, he was a, a... Everybody believed in him and thought he was... He had potential, but then he was all about war and he just was losing wars and it was just making everything deteriorate. Ragione, come abbiamo a dire le altre che ne mancava, le hanno rubate, hanno She said, um, how could you agree with somebody that, you know, when we were in the midst of not having any clothes or food or anything? Abbiamo a dire, abbiamo un paio di scarpe o non abbiamo? We didn't, we wanted shoes and we didn't have any, we had no way of... Chi di che avevano roba sai, per esempio, biancheria, lenzola, coperte, con le coperte si facevano le cappotte. Che era da fare con Mussolini? Perché mancava la roba, finché la Mussolini arretrava la roba, arretrava lo, lo fomento, arretrava l'olio, tutto. Mussolini ci ha privato di avere molte cose che potevamo avere. Che c'è un amico di Gentilugno, un dumeno di fomento, sa il fomento che è? Um, she, they would trade wheat for un dumeno de fermento. Immagine che è farlo pane. Mi immagino lo portavo alla macchina per immaginarlo, fare la farina. C'era il carabinieri. Uno bigasse sto fermento e ce lo levavo. Um, they would give my mom like a container of wheat and then she would bring it to the mill to like make it into flour and they would come and take it from her because they wanted to know where she got it from. My mom would say that, you know, she went and worked for it, but they wouldn't believe her and they would take it away from her. Just the fascists, the 
true fascists would. They would have like a black beret and they would be all dressed in black. They're amongst to their town, especially on Saturdays when they would summon everyone. No, io non ci arrivavo allora. A capire. Cosa mia madre però aveva paura, tanta paura. My mother was really afraid of them, but I was too young to understand what was really going on. Ogni cosa che succedeva sempre venivano a prendere quando arrestavano le carte macchiate, ogni minima cosa arrestavano mio padre, mio padre già ma my my father would be so afraid because he was constantly being arrested and they were always coming to his house to grab him and take him away. In the nostro c'erano quattro. C'era la ciprete, un prete, e, e poi erano quattro che comandavano. Il sindaco, quattro che comandavano il paese. There was four people that would rule the town. Erano tutte fasciste. Tutte fasciste. They were all fascist. Eh, non si faceva niente se con la paura di queste. The, the, we couldn't do anything because we were so afraid of them. The invasion of Sicily, codenamed Operation Husky by the Allies, was a large-scale invasion that involved amphibious and airborne assaults. This would begin the Italian campaign. The operation was first brought up to the Allies as an option of attack after the North African campaign, which took place between November 8, 1942 and May 13, 1943, was completed. The invasion was agreed upon at the Casablanca Conference, although President Roosevelt wanted to assault Europe from England. Churchill argued that an invasion of Sicily and then a full-scale assault on Italy would be more beneficial due to Italy having a poor communication setup in between the North and the South, as well as forcing Hitler and the Nazis to have a split in their forces by having to defend the weaker country. Roosevelt and Churchill eventually settled the matter when Churchill agreed to help the United States more on the Pacific Front, an area Roosevelt claimed England was lacking in. In April of 1943, a British plan to begin the invasion, codenamed Operation Mincemeat, was started. Operation Mincemeat was a British planting of false allied plans on a Welsh homeless man who committed suicide and dressed him in a British Royal Marine uniform and putting him on a Spanish beach for the Nazis to find. The plan worked so well that when the Allies invaded Sicily, only two German divisions were left to fight. After several days into the assault, Hitler was still convinced that the main landings were to be on other islands west of Italy and told his troops to hold their positions. Fighting in Sicily would only last 38 days until the invasion of Italy began. We went to the hospital and we had to go to the hospital and we had to A lot of things really got a lot worse at that time because my father was imprisoned and everybody was living in fear and it was a really bad time. They killed a lot of people. At the time, um, my era tuo marito tanno no. E ce lo portavo vero quando poi si è liberato. My husband told me at, uh, that he, his own friend, died in front of him, and um, they took his watch. He took his watch and brought it back to his family. They, they were, they, they cried and realized that it was... They, they were kind of 
she was a, they were a little mad at him because they wanted him to fight for his friend, but at the time he wasn't able to. <laughs> When my husband uh, went to be a soldier, he was 17 years old. He, he was uh, two, hours, two years he was a soldier and two years he was imprisoned in Germania. Soldato di chi? Due anni soldato normale, poi di prigioniero delle tedesche. Tedesche di Ger Germania, giusto? Eh? Tedesche di Germania. So. Germania. Um, he was imprisoned by Germans for two years. E poi dopo due anni erano, li portavano a lavorare, a fare munizione. Piene munizione. Cose di guerra, cartocci, cose di guerra. After being in prison for two years, they had him do work of some sort for the military. Che pigliano tedesche, siccome erano poi le umuliano combattere di più contro contro le pigliano le pigliano prigioniere e li facciano lavorare. They just took him prisoner and they made him work, but I don't know exactly why she would say. Qualcuno è morto, ma amico. Qualcuno si è portato poi con le tedesche, come mio marito. Ce n'erano che le ammazzavano, andavano fino a dece e le ammazzavano. Some of the Germans would count to like the tenth so person and then they'd kill him and some of his friends had passed away uh, through just the tumultuous war and being imprisoned but he was able to overcome that. Sì, mi disse che lo facevano lavorare, avevano fame la cena e andavano a rubare campagna, scorci di patate. Idu Arubala. Okay. He said they would let him work and at times they would steal potato peels. And they would cook it in, in like a jar of some sort. And they would eat it because that was how hungry they were. So che marmitta? La pentola, la pignata grande. He would um he would wash the 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 pots and pans of the soldiers and he would he would do it on purpose so that he could eat the remains that were left behind from that. E loro l'hanno preso per le pene e l'hanno parato perché le pene erano troppo grandi. They said they, they would grab him and like push him into it uh, in anger because he was doing that. Everybody would him because they thought it was funny that he was doing that, but it, it was kind of sad in a way because he was hungry and he was wanting to eat. We, we knew each other as children because the town was very small. <coughs> well, she was 13 and he was 17 and he, when he went away to war he said, wait for me, wait for me. She waited for him. And when he returned, um, they got married. To love each other and be united. Don't, don't, don't divorce for no reason. <laughs>
Pensateci, ragionate, perché tutti abbiamo stato nello stesso We've all been... e a tutti abbiamo avuto qualcosa da dire con le nostre marite, con le nostre famiglie. Però cerchiamo di mantenere... Husbands and wives fight all the time, but you should always try to maintain um, being united and being about family and, and kids. Come io ho voluto bene, si sta a me famiglia, a me nipote, e mia figlia e me genero che è come un altro figlio. Just as I've loved my family. Io voglio bene a tutti, come se fosse che l'avesse conosciuto sempre. A Edo. A tutta la che persone del ca e ci auguro tante cose buone, tanta fortuna. She said she cares about all of you guys and she wishes you all the best of luck in your future. Essere con i due. Di verità niente. To tell you the truth nothing. Perché giovane. Because as a as a kid I didn't do well. I got married. E mio marito sempre My husband was in the war, and he was always not well. And then he died. And she's always been left with a lot of bad memories. Non posso dire bene. There is no good memories. Niente, me ne quello che cangiavo che me ne venne a capo con mia figlia. Maybe a good memory is coming here to be with my daughter. Ora per giunta, mia figlia va lato e fa di alle Solo sogno contenta che sogno a capo con le mie nipote, mia figlia sogno contenta. So like now I'm happy that I'm here with my grandkids and my daughter. Spero che la vostra generazione fosse piena di di fortuna di avere quello che spera il vostro cuore e arrivare al vostro desiderio. Uh she says that she hopes that your generation is full of hope and good fortune. Che da con la figlia that that of which she did not have. My civilian is Giovanna Armato. She is the child from Italy. Uh, my feelings about this, the veteran, the Harlem Veteran Program is I, I genuinely, genuinely enjoy the entire, uh, the entire class and everything it represents because I, I, I come from a, a military family where uh, uh, the, the stuff that they, they were taught and everything that they went through was kind of embedded into them, and it was always important to them to teach uh, me and my family, uh, my siblings, kind of the, the morals that the military life um, set for them. And uh, now that I'm joining the military, the Navy, um, it it uh, feels like feels like I'm doing the right thing. Feels like this this is something that I need to do for for Mrs. Armado and uh, you know, kind of myself in a way. Not to sound selfish or anything, but this this teaches me, and I I think I can speak for the rest of the class when I say it teaches me and the rest of them and everybody who's gone through this so much about what it was like to grow up back then and so much about their morals, like my family. Um, also, saying he's a bit of an asshole. Uh, he's always talking to me about wrestling. I haven't seen wrestling since I was young. 
Uh, so if anybody's watching this and Stanley makes a stupid wrestling joke, just pretend like you don't understand it. Because, you know, it just <laughs> leads to.